For two minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm Kelsey Schomberger, um, and I'm a young renter facing the threat of losing housing if I were to receive a no-cause eviction <coughs> or exorbitant rent increase. It's a serious fear that I live with all the time as I see my friends receiving evictions without warning, becoming displaced, or desperately struggling to keep up with rent prices when wages barely cover bills, let alone food. I see my friends searching for couches to sleep on or temporary places to, they can stay to avoid having to sleep outside. Others have no other option. My household has hosted folks struggling to stay housed and I have seen the trauma and suffering of this housing crisis firsthand. I find myself in a precarious position as a person disabled by chronic illness. I have difficulty making payments on bills and I'm constantly stressed about pay paying my rent. <coughs> I'm not so far from losing my housing due to financial instability and I'm barely hanging on. Uh, facing a no cause eviction or rent increase, I could lose the roof over my head as so many others have had, others have. Um, I live on 83rd Avenue near Flavel <coughs> and I'm not so far from the Springwater Corridor. I have been out there um, and visited the campers when I went to go volunteer to help them clean up. And what I saw were human beings who were doing what they can to survive and live their lives while they're afforded inadequate resources or help for their health and well-being. They're already vulnerable in their position and are not provided true opportunity to find stability, shelter, and safety, and ultimately long-term housing. Um, to sweep these encampments with no concrete solution offered um, when they have nowhere to go or enough help to get them there is a heinous act of violence. These people are living, feeling human beings, refugees in their own city. The scale of this humanitarian crisis, this public health crisis, is tremendous and has no end nor plans, plans for solution in sight. It will not be resolved in six months and at this rate not even 12. I urge support for an extension of the housing state of emergency and I'm making an appeal to your compassion and humanity that with your power that you hold as commissioners of our city, to prioritize the needs of the masses and not moneyed interests or merciless, greedy landlords and management companies. Okay, thank you. Your time is up. I'm sorry.